Hello friends, hope you are doing well. My name is Jitender Bafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In today's video, we will going to see what is a MuleSoft M unit test recorder. In recent release, MuleSoft has introduced a M unit test recorder with AnyPoint Studio 7.5 and Mule runtime 4.3. So let's learn what is the M unit test recorder. So basically. As I mentioned, uh, M unit test recorder is the new feature which is introduced with the AnyPoint Studio 7.5, and in it enables a developer to record the processing flow and generate a automatic unit test cases depending on the recorded or the captured events. So basically, what you can do? So basically, you create a flow, right? You run the application, and you try to test that application. You can capture that complete. You know, uh, steps happens in that particular flow, and you can generate a test cases out of that. So you don't have to do anything; it will generate the test cases automatically. So I will show you how we can do that. What is the prerequisite for that? We require AnyPoint Studio 7.5. We require Mule runtime 4.3 or later. We require M unit 2.2.5. We require M unit AnyPoint Studio plugin 2.5.0. So we are getting lot of advantage here of using M unit test recorder. So you don't have to write the manual test cases. So basically, it consumes lot of time. So this feature provide you a flexibility where you you can generate a test cases automatically by capturing the processing flow or by recording the processing flow. Okay. So let me sh let's go with some limitations. The one of the there are few limitations. So basically, M unit test case cannot be generated for the flow with error is inside the flow, or even error is handled by on error continue. So basically, you cannot generate the uh, uh, test case or M unit test for the flow which has raised the error. So M unit test cannot be generated for the processor before or inside for each processor. So basically, you cannot generate the generate the M unit test for the processor which is before for each or which is inside the for each uh, processor. Okay. Apart from that, like even you cannot generate the M unit uh, test case for the flow which has been executed successfully successfully, but a result have not reached to destination because the application is killed or the terminate. So what it what does it means? So basically, let's try if somebody has sent the HTTP request, okay, and the flow has been executed successfully. When we try to send the response back to the application who have generated the request and that application got killed or terminated, it means the response will not reach to that particular application. In that case, you cannot generate the immediate test case. Also, like. As M unit test case uh, recorder support the iteration of data like uh, loop and recursivity, but it will not support if data structure is modified inside the iteration. So basically, you can generate like M unit uh, test recorder, you no, know, where like uh, where it support the iteration of data. But if you are try to modify the data within the iteration, you cannot generate the M unit test case for that. And the last one is mocking value resulting from the parallel process. Causes a mixture of real and the mock data that comprise the execution of the processor that flow in your test. So basically, if you are using the parallel pro processor, you know, in that case, uh, uh, the parallel processor will definitely, you know, cause the mix of the real and the mock data. In that case, you know, you cannot generate the M unit test cases. These are the some limited of the limitation of the M unit test recorder. Let me go to demo. So for that, we will create one small application. So I can say file. New Mule project. So what we will do? We will see two scenario. The uh, this we will see one of the limitation scenario, and we will see one of the successful scenario. Okay. So I will give some uh, application name. A minute test app. I can say finish. Okay. It generated the uh, some test case. So I will create one HTTP listener. Okay, so this is my HTTP listener, and in within that HTTP listener, you know, I can put some connector configuration. I can say 8081, and here I can say a time zone slash uh, region slash city. So the uh, I'm expecting two query parameter in input request. Then the next thing, you know, what I will do, I will drag and drop requester. In requester, I want to consume this particular URL. 
so basically I can say world time org so I will configure requester I can say you know world time org that's say okay and then I want to use this particular thing I can give get method and my path will be like this okay instead of Europe I can say I can pass a query parameter or sorry URI parameter it's a region then I can say city URI parameter so I can say region tab I can say attributes dot URI params dot region can add one more city attributes dot URI params dot city okay so these are the two parameters now what I can I can do I can simply run the application and we will test it okay, the application has been deployed and I can say HTTP and localhost this is my URL so here you can see I got this JSON response so here if you see your time you know you get some time you know this time keep on changing basically you know okay just keep uh, this in the mind so now what I can do I can stop the application and what we will do we will start a M unit test recorder so for that what we can do right click on this particular flow say M unit and record test for this flow So let's wait. Okay, it you can see it opened the one pop up. Now it's saying your mule application is now running and it is waiting to get the data. So I will just send the request. You will see it start recording the request. Now it's recorded the request and I can say configure test next. And you can see, you know, your complete uh, request has been recorded. So you can see like this is the my, you know, uh, what are the my URI parameters and all, all such kind of thing. You can see various attributes. You can see the flow outputs. You know, this is the JSON response which we got, you know, abbreviation, CST and all, all those things, you know. You can see that here in request you can click on request so basically it's nothing it's your HTTP request processor either you can do not perform any test you can uh, any any action so basically so basically you don't want to do any mocking or spy on this processor you know mock this processor you can do the mocking of the processor verify process by this processor so I will just keep as it is next and finish so once I will do finish what you will see it will generate some files in the source a test resources you can see you know uh, it will have a payload so basically a set attribute so th this will uh, you can see this is your payload which has been generated okay and it's a lot of events like you know what are the URA parameters what are the other you know other attributes so you can see that you know so this is my URA parameter Europe and Amsterdam like this is my listener part so such kind of thing so now what we will do you you can see your eminent test case has been generated okay so depending on your request and all those things here you can see what is assert so here it is expecting your payload should match you know payload does should match basically so let me run the m unit test cases okay here you can see uh, your test case is running and it's got failed okay so you can get the failure result why it's got failed I can show you in console as I mentioned see like the payload doesn't match if you see the times you know so basically when it record the time is different right DST from 
right so the times and all these things are different if you see you know in this particular uh, the actual you know this is the expected so now when it try to request it again the time came different so the payload haven't match okay so that is reason the test case got failed so what we can do you know so basically you want to make sure like you know uh, this thing uh, uh, like even if the time change the test case get approved you know either what you can do you can change this asset payload you can use some other asset like you know just check the json message you know you are getting 200 okay or second thing what you can do i what i will do i will delete this thing okay i will delete this also i can go to m unit and i can say again i will say you know a minute record the test for this flow so you know like this every time you send the request this particular time will change you know and the payload haven't matched so in that case what I can do I can mock this particular component basically so in that case uh, what will happen so it will not go and you know do the HTTP request again to the time zone URL instead of that it will you know uh, it will just uh, use that input payloads and everything so let me do the request again enter you will see the request is recording now I can say configure test next now I will go to request I can say mock this processor so now this it will consider this as my payload okay next finish now try to run the test case again so this time you can see mock so how the mock happens so dog ID is 9578 so basically it has mocked the ID uh, this particular request so if you go to configuration okay you can see 957 so it has mocked this particular you know uh, component or processor let me go and run the m unit test again so mocking is very important like uh, if you are using any database or anything and every time you know the database is not available so you can use the mocking you know instead of you can mock the any external or backend services so that's what I have done right now so you can see this time this you know the test case is successful okay the test case is successful now what we can do this other thing I mentioned like you know see let consider if like uh, any error has been raised you know in that case it should not generate a test case so I will show you that also so now I'm seeing one okay it will not work that's fine I have to start the application for that so what I can do I can start using on error propagate I want to show that I will put one more on error propagate what I will do, I will put transform message. I will put one more transform message. I will start mapping the error type. Here I can say not found. And here I can say any. Now I can go to transform message. So under transform message, I can say JSON. And I will just pass error error dot description and copy this particular part and I will also declare one variable so that is HTTP status code okay and I can say my HTTP status code is 404 now I will go to here I'll paste that particular you know the error description and all here again I will declare the same variable that is HTTP status code code 500 now I can go to listener under the listener you can go to responses under responses you go to error responses and say payload so that payload has been generated from transform message and the status code will be vars dot we have declared the variable HTTP status code okay now save the application try to run it okay 
okay now i have deployed the application let's first test with you no know, a successful one now I, what i will do i put one so what we got we get the error so now what i have to do i have, i have to test one scenario so i can say like am init record test for this flow Okay, you can see the it's waiting for input data. I will give the error one again, so it will not generate the uh, flow for the uh, AM unit test case for the error flow. You can see the test recorder cannot create a test on the flow that have a mule error. So that is the one of the limitation which we have seen. You know, so AM unit test cannot be generated for the flow with the error is inside the flow or even error is handled by the on error continue. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.